Learning about any religion takes time and dedication. It's not something that is easily learned overnight. Islam, like any other religion, it has many aspects that takes a lot of time to understand. And there are a lot of questions that people commonly have. Here are 10 biggest questions that people have about Islam. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's your boy Ayan Lukman and welcome back to FTD Facts. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about 10 big questions that a lot of Muslims get asked about their faith and religion. Starting off with the first question of the episode what is the dress code for muslims in islam the dress code is basically to avoid a person being sexually objectified so there are basic guidelines for both men and women both genders shouldn't wear clothes that are too thin or too tight to reveal body forms for a woman specifically the dressing should cover all areas except the hands and face a lot of people get confused and think they have to cover their faces with the veil but it's not essential for men they have to at least cover the area from their knee to their belly button do muslims believe in the afterlife yes muslims do believe in the afterlife but they believe that the life they have on earth is a test for them to either be in heaven or hell obviously those who do good will be rewarded and those who do wrong will be punished once they're in heaven it is believed that they will be given a life full of permanent pleasure and they will be surrounded by people that also deserve to be there can you drink water during ramadan you guys have no idea how many times i get asked this question people are always like oh you can't drink or eat for 30 days straight like how are you guys alive so basically to sum it up ramadan is the most sacred month of the year in islam it is a time for families to gather and celebrate and to have a good time but it's also to abstain from pleasures and to spend the month becoming closer to god a lot of people believe that you can't eat or drink for 30 days straight but that's not the case during ramadan muslims are allowed to drink or eat but only while the sun is down do muslims have many sects in islam there are two major schools of thoughts the Shia and the Sunni both have a lot in common but also have some different beliefs there are the Sunnis who follow Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him follow his sayings his actions and his teachings and then there are the Shias who in addition to following the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him they also follow the sayings and views of Ali who is the Prophet's son-in-law regardless they both follow the same book which is the Quran they both follow the same Prophet Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and they both pray five times a day day to the same god does islam recognize other religious minorities the answer is yes during the time of prophet muhammad peace be upon him he would actually forbid muslim armies to destroy churches and other worship buildings in muslim countries christian missionaries are allowed to establish and to operate their schools and hospitals they hold government position and they get to attend their churches as we are halfway through the video those were five big questions that muslims always get asked if you guys are enjoying the video definitely make sure to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe on this channel we talk about so many topics from celebrities to cultures to religion to countries so definitely make sure to stick around what do muslims think of jesus muslims believe that jesus is a prophet of god and is highly respected it is also believed that he was born without a father when jesus was born it is believed that he was also able to speak soon after his birth the quran discusses several of jesus's miracles including being able to heal the blind and the sick reviving the dead bringing clay birds to life it is also believed that he was never crucified but was raised into heaven and will return to earth right before the day of judgment in order to defeat the job what are the pillars of islam so there are five pillars of islam that are mandatory to all believers the first one is shahada which is the muslims declaration of faith which is believing in one god and that prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of god the second pillar is salah or prayer there are five prayers in a day that all muslims are required to pray the third pillar is fasting which is required during the month of ramadan the fourth pillar is zakat which means charity for the poor and lastly the fifth pillar is hajj which is the pilgrimage to mecca and only needs to be done once in a lifetime but it's only for people who have the financial accessibility and are physically capable of performing it muhammad peace be upon him was the last prophet who was born in the tribe of mecca in the sixth century his father passed away before he was born and his mother passed away when he was just six years old 
But then there was a nurse who took care of him until his grandfather and his uncle took care of him. It was at the age of 40 when he was approached by the angel Gabriel and was given prophethood. As the revelations kept coming to him, they were compiled into a book which is now called the Quran. A Quran which has never been changed and is believed to be the final and the last word of God. So second last question, do Muslims worship Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? The answer is no. Muslims believe that God alone is to be worshipped, not any human human being. Even in the Quran, Surah 3 verse 144, it translates to Muhammad is not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. So if he was to die or be killed, would you turn back on your heels to belief? The thing that makes Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him so special is that he is believed to be the most perfect human and an example to follow. A lot of Muslims try to follow Sunnah, which means the way of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, whether it's his words, actions, or teachings. So for the final question of the episode i'm sure most of you guys who aren't familiar with islam at some point wondered what is islam the word islam actually means peace or submission or achieving peace by submitting to the will of god when it comes to peace it means being at peace with your surroundings and when it comes to submission it's being submission to the will of god all right guys this brings us to the end of the episode of 10 biggest questions that people have about islam let me know what are some questions that you guys might have muslim or not so at the end of the video i'll leave a recommended video on the screen that you guys can definitely check it out my social media links are in the description box below so definitely make sure to follow me and i'll see you guys next time peace